Hello guys welcome to our channel once again. Today we're going to talk about all the expressions and the function, useful functions which we can use in Azure Data Factory world. And this is very important to make your things dynamics because there are all the cases where you have to make some kind of conversions. You'll have to use some kind of logical operators across different activities. Now see what all functions we can use in Azure Data Factory, it has six different category of functions. First is a string functions where you can do some kind of substrings action, you can do concat, trim, uppercase, lowercase. You can do all kinds of operation which is required for a string functions. Then there are collection functions which is useful for your arrays. If you want to find out if your arrays are empty or not, what is the length of your array? Those kinds of oppression? There's multiple collection functions here. Then there is the most important thing is the logical function where you have to see whether it is greater than or less than or equal will have to check those conditions and based on that you can make decision what you want to do and there are conversion functions where you have to convert different kind of data types from string to int or integer to string or sometime to boolean different other data types. Those are those types of functions comes under conversion functions. Then you have math functions for all the Addison division, multiplication, exponential, those things, and then last one is a date function. Here you'll get all the function which related to dates like you can convert UTC to a different type of function in different time zone. Or you can add a days you can add months although operation which you are supposed to do with the dates. These are all functions are defined in this URL which you can see the bottom easily. All the documentations are available. I'll just give you a glimpse of that dot here you can see. It will give you all the explanation, will not go line by line. It's all easily available. We'll just see few of them. How we can use it in as you did a factory you can see the list for string function. Then it has collection function. Logical function converts in functions and then math functions. If you have learned how to use function actually you can go ahead and you can use any function. Let's see how we can use it. Let me switch to my data factory and I've already written few of the functions and I'm assigning it to a variable so that we can see the values exactly. But in your real time scenario you'll be converting using it immediately, maybe in some other operations. Here for the simplicity I've just assigned it to variables. So in the first one, let's go and see what we're doing. We have defined one variable UTC time, and how we're setting this is a simple one. The easiest one we can say UTC now dot, and how you can get this function is here. At the bottom you'll see all the functions. What we, we have seen there in this is a date function. Now you can go and I can choose which date function. I want to use, here you say UTC now. Just click on it and it'll populate. There are scenarios where you don't want to use UTC, you want to convert it to some typical time zone. Suppose you want to convert this to CST. So this is a new set variable. I have taken what I'm doing is I'm now again taking convert time zone function. Now this is the first parameter and then we're telling from which time zone want to convert to. Because I've taken UTC, I'm saying UTC to Central Standard Time, which is CST, and this is very important. So this text is very important here, and we have to see the documentation what this text should be, because if you give it to CST as a short form, it will not work. So we have to see the documentation and use. You can get it easily, then we'll see the concat function here. This is a string function which want to use to concatenate different part of the string. See, this is what I have written. Yes, this is part, and then I want to concatenate a different variable value here. Again, you go back here. You just choose your dot string function concat concat. 
We can take this and this can be done in two different ways. I'll tell you the other way also, this is one way that you can concat with, and you can make a single string the other way to do that is. This so if you don't want to use the concat function, it is like, string interpolation, this is what it's called. What I'm saying is just write your text what you want, and then use its symbol and curly braces inside the curly braces. You use your parameter variable which you want to concat. And one more thing if you want to use any of the variable parameter. Even things you can just key in here, or you can also select from bottom. All the variables and parameters are available. You can just click on it, so here this part plus this, this and this. I'm concatenating for different things, but without using your concat function. Let's see one more function here, which is a substring. I'll say substring, and then you give you my first text. I'll give the start index and end index dot if you're using the function, suppose you have not written correctly. It will start to throw syntax error. So till the time you are seeing this message, it means something is wrong. This is one indicator whether your function is correct or not okay, let's see. Let's use one of the logical operator for our if condition. What we're saying is okay, then I'm using one logical function which I have selected from here. If it is a greater, we have to provide two. Either numbers or dates or string whatever, you want to compare first and the second. So if it is greater it will return true and then we'll go inside this one. Whenever you're using if condition, you'll have to use some or other logical functions. If it is true go to activity. What I'm saying is I'll go inside and I'm using one more formatting function here. What we're doing is we're dot changing format of the date in the previous one. We had changed the time zone of the date. Now here changing the format because there will be more of cases where you want your date to come in a particular format. So this is the format you need to define. Let's go and quickly run it, now it is complete. Now you can go ahead and you can see all your values and the first one is my UTC time. So you can see this is UTC time which says 1759. Now the same UTC time yet converted to CST. Here you will see the date is same but the time has changed, time is different. Now when we see concate, this is the first part and then we had given date time, both are concatenated. Substring function, we started from zero index and length was 10, so we can see the last part is truncated. This is concat string again the same concatenation, but in a different way. This is the first part. We give one single date in the second part as second date, both of them have come in same line. Now it says set date format, in other cases you have seen how the date had come. Now here we give a particular format of YYYYMMDD. So these are all the ways that you can very easily use different kinds of function. If you want to check weeder functions are available you have to go to the documentation and see. List is keep on increasing or they'll be adding more and more functions as and when we go there. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. You can also join the Telegram group for deeper technical discussions.